Now, how awesome is this, right? As you can see right now, it's pretty detailed, it's pretty artistic. Even if it's on the cartoon side, it's pretty good. And right now, I'm gonna teach you how to create this one with the very easy steps. So good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. In this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create very realistic image to video or text to video using AI. And that being said, it's gonna be called this AI. It's gonna be called so it's gonna be called Promea AI, and this should be the landing page you're seeing also on your end. A little bit of reminder that this is gonna be a paid subscription. But the thing here is there is gonna be a free trial. So before we get started, I wanna show you the pricing on this AI. So I'm gonna click on this tab right here. So basically, this is it. So for now, I have this free trial, as you can see, it's being highlighted. And for that, I have 200 relax generations per month, which is going to be replenished every month. So basically, with that one, if you're a beginner, that's enough for you. No fast generation access, so we can wait for a few minutes. That's fine by me. And basically, personal use only. You'll have this wide range of feature also. And with that being said, these are your prices. Please check them out if you want to. And right now, I'm going to go back to the landing page. So with this one, they have a lot of sketch rendering, AI image generation, creative fusion, image variation, photo to sketch. There's a lot here. They also have image or rather erase and replace, out paint or relight. But for now, they added two more features on Premiere AI. They're going to have image to video and text to video. So we're going to focus on these two features for this video. And right now, I'm going to go with text to video first. So I'm going to click this one right here. And I'm going to be redirected on this landing page where basically you can check a lot of um, videos created by different creators. For example, this one right here. I want to show you guys this one. So here's the example of the grape. Now, as you can see right there, the motion, the direction of the water regarding the photo, it's very good. Again, this is just a text to video. Let's try one right now. And by the way, guys, you can just choose a specific model here. That's what I like about this one. Pretty user friendly. There isn't much going on. So first thing, type a prompt here and make sure you have your metrics on this lower side. Now, on this one, let's type um, a perfume. Let's just say perfume bottle, water splash. Okay. And basically with this one, let's just say um, neutral background. And now I'm going to be satisfied with this one. Now, before I click enter, let me just correct that one. So before I click enter, I'm going to make sure I have my desired metrics here. So for the first one, we have the model there. They have a lot. They have documentary photography. They have fashion. They have artistic. They also have black and white photography and so on and so forth. And that is just under the photography section. Under conceptual art, they have a lot more. So by my estimate, they have 200 plus models or filters here to use. So for now, since this is going to be a more like a commercial um, prompt, I'm going to use this general commercial um, model right there. For the scale, I'm going to stick with the default 16 by 9, but you can change it as you do, please. And also the thing I like about this one, you can customize the resolution that you're looking for, the scale. For the motion, I'm going to click on high because I want to have that really good motion, high motion. And that being said, simply click on generate. And let's just wait for it to finish. I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back. This is going to be our video. And as you can see right there, it's pretty good without even playing it for now. Now I'm going to play it. Let's try it out. And as you can see right there, the water, the interaction of the video is very good. However, since I have a free trial, I think I took around five minutes to generate this one. Now, just for discussion purposes, let's try one more. Same prompt, but different model right now, because I want to try a different one. I'm going to try general cinematic because earlier we have commercial, right? I want to show you the difference. So same prompt. Everything's the same. Motion is the same. Scale is the same. I just changed my um, model. So click on generate right now. So basically for this one, I'm going to get back to you once it's here. So welcome back. This is going to be our second prompt with a different model. And for now, I think it took around one minute only. I think the more you try this out, the faster you can generate. Anyway, let's try this second prompt right now. I'm going to play it. As you can see right there, the water is not that good. The water is not that interactive, even though I have the same motion. Comparing with this one right here, 
this is a very good model because the one i used here the model is for commercial general commercial this is for general cinematic that's why the background for this one the second one is like a cinematic movie and with that being said let's try a different type here for example i want to try a human now rather than using um objects for example a girl in a city let's just say with that one glowing hair so glowing hair right there i'm um, drinking coffee easy as that now for this one since this is going to be a um a human i'm gonna click or choose a very artistic design here so instead of clicking general commercial there you can choose illustrations to make it more realistic this one's right here or conceptual art so for this one, i'm gonna choose illustrations we have american style we have japanese style we have abstract fantasy choose what you want here so for this one i'm gonna go to realistic fantasy and for this one i'm gonna choose a very realistic design here i'm just gonna look for it very quickly i'm gonna choose this one right here and basically for this one i can just click on generate right now and i'll get back to you once it's here so welcome back this is gonna be our video right now and let's try and um look at it as you can see this exact photo or video is generated by the girl drinking coffee in a city and as you can see right here the generative or the um details on its face is very realistic and basically that's text to video for you guys let's try now the image to video so simply click on this button right there and before i get started here i just want to let you know that on text to video we can try as much as possible or as much as models that you like please try them out and look for the best one fit for you so for this one you can just simply add the image here we don't have to change metrics you don't have to choose a model and so on and so forth and basically add an image there so idea here is just basically from ai will animate your image so for this one i'm gonna choose this specific photo that i got from pixel bay so for this one i'm gonna go with high and right now simply click on generate there is not much difference here or there is not much to change so click on generate and wait for it to finish I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back here. Now we're gonna play this specific video. I wanna show you something here. So please uh, focus on it. As you can see right there, the motion is not that much because this is gonna be a human. It's gonna be a person rather. Now I'm gonna add another photo here. So click on upload. I wanna show you the difference. I'm gonna use this photo right here that I got from Pixel Bay. It's basically an orange getting rinsed up with water. Make sure motion is high and click on generate. Now I'm going to get back to you once it's here to show you the difference of using a person and an item or object. So welcome back right now and this is going to be the video regarding the orange bearing wash up. So I'm going to show you the difference. Remember the woman earlier with very minimal movement? Check this one right now. As you can see right there, this is one of the things that I found at the web premiere. The animation or video or image to video is much more likely to work with objects rather than persons. And with that being said, please use this or utilize this as much as you want. Especially with the free trial going out right now, every month, 200 generations. Please utilize that one. And with that being said, that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.